Aikum and welcome to Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan. I've grown a courgette. And now, my friend, you are going to make me a delicious courgette loaf. For my courgette loaf, I've got 225 grams of plain flour, 200 grams of sugar, you can use caster sugar or ordinary sugar, 125 mils of vegetable oil, or you could use melted butter if you wish, two eggs, half a teaspoon each of salt and cinnamon powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg and a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of vanilla flavouring and my lovely courgette which weighs about 200 grams. And you can also add in walnuts or raisins as well if you want. It's up to you. I'll begin by coarsely grating the courgette. Lovely. Now put the eggs the sugar and the oil in a bowl and beat them together. After a couple of minutes or so it should be fairly smooth. Add in the vanilla flavouring, then sift in the flour and the spices, salt and baking soda and mix well. Now the mixture will go quite thick, not to worry. Now's the time to add in the courgette, plus any walnuts or raisins or anything else you're adding. And mix in. As you can see, the mixture is a lot more fluid now. So we can put this in the baking tin. I've got a lightly greased loaf tin here. I'll just pour in the mixture. Now we'll bake this in an oven at 170 degrees C for about an hour. After about an hour it should be this lovely golden brown colour, so I'll just check it's cooked by putting a skewer in. It's clean, so it's cooked. Now I'll leave this for 10 minutes in its baking tin. After 10 minutes, turn the loaf out and place on a wire rack to cool. Delicious and moist courgette loaf. Another tea time idea from Titley's Busy Kitchen. Now many people will call that a courgette bread, but there's far too much sugar in it to be a bread, it's more like a cake. Now then, the big question is, what am I going to do with this? Don't answer that. Join me next time in Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan. Until next time, Khuda Hafiz!